Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So the buy-in features Nora Wexley, who is the star of Chuck Wendig's Aftermath novels. And it is a very welcome situation to have her return. It's fun to see interactions between her and Wedge Antilles where you know there's nowhere even close to them being <laughs> romantically involved. There's not even a hint of it at this point. This story is taking place the day before the Rebels are leaping to the Death Star to this final battle. Nora is a Y-Wing pilot and on a training mission going out with the rest of her squadron and then they come back and there's a night of drinking and sabacc. So naturally with drinking and sabacc, you might imagine that Lando Calrissian would have something to do with this and you would be correct. And he is a lot of fun in this story. He is flirting with Nora Wexley whether he's actively flirting or it's just that he's flirtatious in general, it's hard to say. They're around the table playing Sabacc and Nora looks at her cards and doesn't like them and makes a face about it. And Lando chides her about that and says, everybody's already looking at you because you're so beautiful. You gotta hide your tells. So that stuff is all in good fun, but she's also reflecting on the possibility that she might not come back from the mission that she's going on. She reflects that she has been searching for three years for her husband, Brenton Wexley, and we learn the story about what happened to him in the Aftermath novels, which is of course very tragic. Tragic. And the fact that she's left her son Temin Wexley, better known as Snap Wexley, yes, Greg Grunberg in The Rise of Skywalker and The Force Awakens. He is 15 years old at this point and she's left him, Nora has, with her aunts on Akiva. And through part of this she's trying to figure out what kind of message she would send to him even though she's also realizing that she's been deficient in sending messages to him in the first place and feeling the guilt and shame about that. And this is one of those stories where the story itself ends without a resolution in the sense that they're in the middle of a Sabacc game and you don't know how the Sabacc game turns out. And yet it's so well done, you're like, yeah, I don't need to know. I want to know, but I don't need to know. And it's actually a beautifully done ending without the knowledge of how the game turns out. The game itself that all these pilots are playing becoming a metaphor for everything that's been going on in Nora's life over the last few years. So I really enjoyed the buy-in and that's what I've got for you on this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.